What's good, YouTube? You're back for another dose with me, the Wood Star, once again. Right, as I'm sure you guys have seen the title, you're going to have a rough idea we're talking about. So what is a terrorist? I mean, I'm sure you guys have heard, or we, you know, ISIL, ISIS, or whatever the fuck they want to call themselves this week. A oh, terrorist and, and all the rest of it, but... Do people even know what the word terrorist means? I mean, as I said, most people say a terrorist is someone like ISIS, ISIL, Al-Qaeda, which is all pretty much the same thing, but that will be discussed in another video. People don't really know the definition unless the TV tells them. So, okay. Let's look up the, dif uh, the dictionary definition. Here's one. Premeditated, politically motivated violence perpetrated against non-combatants. Targets by subnational groups or Kalasnostein agents. Usually intended to influence an audience. Premeditated, politically motivated. There's some pretty strong words there. Violence perpetrated against non-combatants targeted by subnational groups. Usually intended to influence all audiences. Hmm, that's an interesting one. How about this? The use of violence and threats to intimidate or coerce, especially for political purposes. Does that sound like ISIS or ISIL? The state of fear and submission produced by terrorism or terrorization. Hmm. The state of fear, which is what the government do through BBC. They plague us with images of fear. And submission, where well, we submit our rights are because what they say. Terroristic methods of governing as a res uh, or of resisting a government. We've got every right to resist the tyrannical government. But terroristic method of governing. Hmm. Does it mention anything about people like ISIS or ISIL? So, in the words, it mentions government to intimidate or coerce, especially for political purposes. So, what does that mean? I mean, how could you tie that to ISIS or ISIL? How, how could you do it? When it specifically says government. So, there isn't really a way to really tie that to something like ISIL or ISIS. But people didn't know this definition unless the TV told them. Let's listen to a fellow political rapper, Low Key. Here's his take on terrorism in his track, Terrorist. This is by no means breaking copyright law. This is for educational purposes only. All rights belong to those who own the rights. I own nothing other than what's mine, not the track. Here we go. Head over killer walk from the Middle East, you're a hero. Your country is causing screams that never reach your ear holes. America inflicted a million ground zeros. We must ask ourselves, what is the dictionary definition of terrorism? The systematic use of terror, especially as a means of coercion. But what is terror? According to the dictionary I hold in my hand, terror is violent or destructive acts such as bombing committed by groups in order to intimidate a population or government into granting their demands so what's a terrorist it seems like the rackheads and packies are worrying your dad but your dad's favorite food is curry and kebab it's funny but it's sad how they make your mommy hurry with her bags rather read the sun and study all the facts tell me what's the bigger threat to human society vae systems or homemade IEDs, remote control drones killing off human lives or man with homemade bomb committing suicide i know you were terrified when you saw the towers fall it's all terror but some forms are more powerful it seems nuts how could there be such agony when more israelis die from peanut allergies it's like the definition didn't ever exist i guess it's all just a 
the view your nemesis is Rumble was democracy, Mossadegh was democracy Allende was democracy, hypocrisy, it bothers me Who you terrorists if you don't wanna be a colony Refuse to bow down to a policy of robberies Terrorism, my lyrics When more Vietnam vets killed themselves after the war Than died in it, this is very basic One nation in the world has over a thousand military bases They say it's religion, when clearly it isn't It's not just Muslims that oppose your imperialism Is Hugo Chavez a Muslim? Nah, I didn't think so Is Castro a Muslim? Nah, I didn't think so you see, these definitions could also apply to policing in general. Here, let's look at the rooftop 6 plus 1. Now, if you guys don't know anything about that, I urge you guys to look into that. But at a later date, I'll cover that. But let's just look at what happened to the rooftop 6 plus 1. <laughs> Right. They're trying to storm the building now. And I'm pregnant, Tom. You're still there, Tom. Come on. <laughs> they're, they're storming the building at the moment. Right, trying to. Right, get that down, get that down. Right. Right. Come, on, come on, come on, come on. Everyone on. Right, there's glass in here, panels. Right. Trying to rip the roof out. You're not getting this one. That one's. Right, look, there it is. Right. Yeah, this, they're all there trying to force up at the moment. Come on, everybody on. Everybody fully on this thing. Right, yeah. Hold on, please. Now they seem to have stopped for a second. Right. Is all this really necessary? Just wedged it up. Right. right. You up? Come down. What? Well, face you. You're joking, you are. You're scaring us all. I know that, but I'd like to be arrested peacefully, thank you. Right. Yeah, right. Oh, my baby! There's a pregnant woman up here packing in, lads. I'm pissing about, man. Well, there this is. isn't the way to sort it out. Just stay on there, stay on there, please. That's coming through the bed, mate, and the people are on it. You better tell when they can't be recorded. This has been recorded, so you better behave. Literally, we've got a fucking Yeah. Well, we're all on the bed, and they're trying to put post sharp things through, poke sharp things through it now. <coughs> the bed's on top of the, the thing, and they're trying to. <laughs> Bed. There is a bed, double bed up here. We put that on top of the where the loft is, and we're all on the bed. <laughs> the the, the uh, negotiator was just a distraction for them to try and get in. Yeah. Yeah. Right, mate. You are gonna hurt someone there badly. Right. You're taking the piss, now, lads. This is just a mistake. Yeah. Well, they're going to trash the fucking ass, aren't they? I've got these. They're still trying to get in. They're going to pull the fucking roof down. Oi! Pulling the roof down. What the thing's going on, man? Huh? You need to calm down. Look, there's people in here. There's a pregnant woman in here. They're on the roof trying to smash through the top as well by sounds of it. Is this nicely? Yeah. He doesn't seem very nice. This has gone on bamboos and straight away, mate. This, Tom. So it's live this is going live streaming, buddy. Good. You're going to be shown for what you are, criminal. Fuck. Yeah. No. Trying to rip the roof out by sounds of it. Yeah, they're. Uh, I they think they're on the roof as well. Yeah, yeah, plenty. 
They're coming through the roof. They smashed the roof out, and I say the living room, they're trying to come. Ah! Yeah, this is getting out of hand. You want to calm down, lads? They're pushing the roof in while people are sat on it. We're all going to die when we fall through. On top of them. It seems like they are just about taking the roof down. Yeah, well, Who goes on it? Yeah. The ceiling that we sat on. They've got a wedge thing. They're working away up with that bit. Hey, get that, get that book. Chuck it down on them. You need to tell them to stop doing what they're doing because they're going to hurt somebody up here. Yeah. No, everything is peaceful. We're just sat on the bed and they're just trying to hey! stop us. That's on my leg, you twat! Come back, come back. Yeah, they're trying to take the roof out in the living room, I, would, I think it is. Well, they've got a, they've got a part of it. Yes. Yeah, the, the, the carpet's lifting up as they've, they've taken the roof out. No, the, the ceiling in the living room. They're trying to come through that. They've, they've, the, the floor keeps going up and down where they keep smashing it. Hey? I'm not going to do it because I mind uh, uh, the water there. Uh, <laughs> when, when, when they get in. Yeah, yeah, like I said, they're taking the roof down in the living room. With us on top of it. And trying to come up through the, the uh, thing at the same well, time. Someone's going to get very hurt. <laughs> So I would suspect that we're not going to be treated very nicely. No, I think you're all good. Come on, come on, come on. Mm. Yeah, they're in the patch as well, but... They've got the rattle. Yeah. Don't matter. Right. <laughs> yeah. They've got the ladder that we were using to secure it, but uh, we're still on top of the bed at the well, moment. Well, you need to tell these about what they're doing, mate. Sure everybody there is peaceful. Yeah, we're, we're peaceful, definitely. We're very peaceful. Yeah. These are violent people. Folks. Corporate storm people, yeah. This is getting live streamed, folks. It sounds like the wall's cracking. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's what they're trying to do. They're literally demolishing it, the roof as we talk, thought we can feel the whole roof moving. Oh, it's mad. Yeah. From under our feet. Yeah, they're ripping, they're, we even got them saying on the radio they're ripping the roof apart. <laughs> well, you could have chosen better colours. <laughs> no, not yet. Uh, they're trying to rip the roof out while we're still on it. Actually. They're trying to smash the, the bed to bits as well, from yeah. what I can see here. Yeah. We're, being, we're being banged about. Watch it. Um, 
smashing the bed to pieces. The floor's starting to come up now, m multiple places. Oh, look at the ladder up your side. Eh? Pushing up a ladder on your side. I'm pushing up a ladder that side. Put it out, lads. You need to calm down. Th I think you're breaching the peace. Yeah. No, 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 you're all going to be arrested, right. but none of you will receive right. any harm. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, Don't yeah. believe you. We've seen the way you've acted so far. We're, we're, no, we're scared for our own safety we're now. Sorry. To, I'm listening to your voice alone. I'm listening to your voice. Right. If you all come down, it's going on yeah, enough now. It's not telling me. We're scared witness up here. Right. Well, it's listening to me. We're not coming down. We're too scared. Right. I'm giving you my assurance. You will not be able to get rid of all your officers then. You're not going to get rid of anybody, are we? Send them outside, because why do you need 20 of you if we're all going to come down peacefully? There's not 20 of us in here. Well, there's a good few here. I can see us all. Look, all I'm saying to you is, yeah, yeah, you come down, you will not be harmed in any way. <laughs> yeah. So what is what you're saying? Is what you're saying if we don't come down, we're going to be harmed? Is that what you're saying? It's not true, mate. We're going to stay witness up here. Listen to me. We're not coming down. We're too scared. You, I'm giving you my assurance. You will not be harmed. Don't believe it. Get rid of all your officers, then. Well, you're not going to get rid of anybody, are you? Well, I'll send them outside because why do you need twenty of you if we're all going to come down peacefully? There's not twenty of us in here. Well, there's a good few here. I can see us all. Look, all I'm saying to you is, yeah, yeah, you come down, you will not be harmed in any way. Yeah, so what, is what you're saying, you saying if we don't come down, we're going to be harmed? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah we've, uh, we've dealt with police before. I've smashed my ankle yeah. with some bar. smashed the ceiling away to get us up from under it. So are you, well, you saying you refusing to come down? I'm scared for my safety and my so baby's safety. Scared, you've made us all scared. That's why, mate, to come down, my friend. Yeah, we don't trust you. We don't trust you. We do not trust you. Just seeing the violence you've been using against us. Peaceful oh, people. Yeah, I've done with it. Yeah, we'll try and keep her as safe as we can. Well, why do you need so many of them if you're going to let us come peacefully? Well, you're not. If we're just some people, why do you need so many of you? Yeah, and then you storm the lock, yeah. All right, mate, can you hear me? Yeah, go on. Can you hear me? Okay, so if there's just the four or five of us here, are you happy to come down? No, we're too scared. You're still trying to smash the roof in. still carry on to smash the roof in. How can you negotiate with us while he's smashing the roof in? I'm speaking calmly to you. Probably. Okay. All I want you to do is obviously remove the obstruction from the lock. We'll assist your safe passage down using these ladders. Okay? You've shattered my ankle. I've not shattered anybody's Someone ankle. Someone in the kitchen has shattered my ankle. I don't, I don't know anything about There's that. There's a bar so... coming up through this roof. Right. It's... Oh, so you know about the bar, but you don't know anything about it, eh? I don't know. No, come I don't. It's Tomney. Hello. Go on. Tom, come, come where I can see you, fella. I'm here, go on. He's here. Right, let me have a look. Well, if you get rid of all well, these, Tom, make... Tom, behave yourself, because I've not got a hat on or protected We're not, we're, 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 not, we're, we're, we're right. peaceful. Not, there's no issue. We're Tom. peaceful. Tom, Tom, listen to me. Right. You've you probably gathered now that these lads aren't going to hang about and they're going to come up in the loft. Right, well, here, just listen. give us five minutes to have a talk. Listen, listen to me a minute. Yeah. And then I'll listen yeah. to you. Yeah. As I said to whoever it is I was speaking to on the radio. That was me, yeah, go on. Nobody needs to get here, do they? Yeah, OK. okay. Right. Ten minutes. Ten. Right, are you going to give us five minutes or are you going to carry on smashing the police through? Well, why can't you give us five minutes just to... Well, then we don't trust what you're saying. That's not peaceful, then, is it? That's not peaceful, is it, if you're not allowing us to discuss? What is it you need to discuss? Well, we need to discuss as a group that we're happy to come down peacefully, yeah? Well, I'll tell you what, then, I'll speak to the lads yeah. You want us to give and take, yeah? Right? Send all your officers out. We're not going to do anything funny, we give you our words. You give us yours, we're giving you ours, yeah? We're peaceful people. Alright, Tom. Yeah. You send your officers out to outside the door and we will come down the ladder one by one. Yeah. 
There's enough of us. We, we, Six of us. Six of us. Just pretty much, yeah. Why do you need five? We're not going to do anything. We're peaceful people. <laughs> listen, listen, they're not going to go far even if they go out of here, are they? Uh, yeah, well, we just want them out of well, the way so we're not intimidated when we come down. The, the difficulty I've got, let me tell you this, oh, just, you, he's taking a point. No, they've stopped at the moment because they, we've told them to give us five minutes to discuss things. We're going to lift the barricade up and come down. So will you move your officers out the way so we don't feel intimidated? Because we don't want your officers coming storming up them ladders and dragging us down. Sorting that stuff out, put them down. And just get on the roof. Yeah. yeah. They're not going to put them down. That's I think they're out here, aren't they? Get <laughs> out, get out. Let's go and do this. Right, um. Right, so are you going to move your officers away? Are you going to move your officers away? <laughs> A majority. Fair enough. Right. We're coming down, mate. Yeah. Right, we're coming down. There's no need to use violence. We're grabbing our personal possessions. Do that. Okay. Right, give us a few minutes to get our bits together. We are going to come down if you move your weapons that we can see. Yeah. I can see a big claw there. Wait, oh, I can smell gas. Yeah. What are you doing then? That's why you're the ladder up. Okay. Well, you want us to come down? Are you going to move out the way? Okay. Yeah. We're doing it. Right. We'll move out the way then. I don't feel safe coming down here with you stood there. You want us to come down with all you lot stood on the ladders? Are you mad? What? You don't need them all stood on the ladder though, do you? Right, okay. Right, so as soon as we lift this, they're all going to storm us. Nobody's storming us. They're coming up. We're coming down. We're going to lift the barricade and come down. Right, just get the hammers and just under. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Just try the other. We're standing on it. We could have fallen through. Trust. Trust. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm going to be Call the police. Please. Call the real police. Trusting any of you? I don't think so. Wow. Yeah, yeah. They were pushing up the ceiling while we were standing on Just it. Taking the ceiling out in the front room and we're trying to get through it. And they want us to trust Call the police. Trust? Are you kidding me? I am not getting in any vehicle with any one of these people. I don't think the roof's a safer place for you to be though, is it? It's, it's safer safe. than anywhere near you lot of criminals. It's very safe. It was extremely so. So you started trying to fucking rip it to pieces. We were still there. Peaceful. I'm, we're still peaceful. Okay. Trust well, we're, we're on the roof. You. Three of us, four of us are on the roof. One of you. I'm going to let you touch me. No, thank you. Just what will happen to me in the cell? Two. Trust. Yeah, it's right. No way. No way. Yeah. It's all right. 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 Tin. Hello. Is it are you? Are you? Yeah. Hello. You gone down? Are you yeah. Is it, well, at least we can. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll stay a bit longer. It's no big deal, but... Yeah, do, do what you want. Because they can't come on the roof for us, because that would be serious danger. I'm so frightened right now. I've got you next to me here, so I can hear if you so. There's no trust. You know, none of those... That negotiation... Don't talk. Yeah, you trying to speak to us, and then we're just trying to, like, absolutely obliterate the ceiling that we were sat on. Oof. We could have fallen through. You yeah. could have had six dead people on your hands. Is that really what you want? Well, yes, it probably is. Just mindless thugs, really, aren't you? Just stay here. Um, uh, well, yeah. do that. If you go down there. I'm not going down there. You can watch Jay and that get there. Yeah, absolutely. You guys all right? I'm shaking like a leaf. 
They nearly smashed the roof in to get into us. That whole ceiling nearly came in. Well, we were sat on, we were sat on the ceiling and they were trying to rip it, to put, rip it open with us sat on it. And then they said, trust us, put yeah. down, trust us. Are you joking? We are peaceful people. You didn't even let us get a chance to talk to the negotiator. Now that was just this distraction. No. Just let like folks know what they're doing. They smashed my ankle. They smashed my ankle with yeah. the bar. The, what they're doing, what they're doing, yeah. what, what they're doing at the moment is they're about to kettle them again and push them up the road because they can see us from the end of your road and up a bit yeah. and they're about to uh, kettle them again and shove them up the road. Trying to hide a crime. Just stay right. up there, They just told us that's what they're about to do. The guys out there down there. You've lost that cross now. No negotiation. <laughs> well, no baby. It doesn't have to go right. They're talking about trust. I don't think so. Just a bunch of criminals. You, you've screwed it up, you lot. No. We are going to come down. No, this is there. No, no chance. Yeah. No, oh, yeah, look at you with your elbow and all that on. You look. think we're stupid? Look. You're beating the rest of them up, yeah, have you? The ones that's gone down? You'll see them down there. Well, we'll see. Yeah. No chance, mate. So, jump three off have gone down. Um, so we should see. I'd rather jump to... off this roof and come anywhere near you. You have smashed my ankle. Yeah, I bet they are. Till when? Till they die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Still looking around. Don't see the guys that has gone down going out, yeah. Just make it. Yeah, 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 yeah. She knows. I don't want you coming anywhere near her, mate. If you come out, I will I will go over there. Yeah? Hey there, folks. No chance. Are no, you the negotiator? Well let, let me just give you a little bit of it. I'd rather jump off here than let you come near me. Let, let me give you a little bit of it. If you've got a dodgy ankle, you don't want to be stood on a Yeah, I know. Off. I'm not bothered, mate. Right. Yeah. I'm more concerned at the minute. Nobody gets hurt, nobody falls. Yeah, yeah. Well, you weren't concerned down, about them people hurt when people was allowing you to take the ceiling from under our feet that we were sitting on. I, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you no, that, that I was at the other end. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, pass the box. I didn't know about that. Oh, I was just following orders. I'm not, I'm listen, listening. I don't want to listen to it. What happened to the agreement I had with you a minute ago? You broke my trust. By doing what? Then we'll have to come out. Don't do your common purpose watch, crap on me, yeah? What's your name for? The other people and bashing the ceiling in. Right. They've stopped doing that. I bet they have, because we're not there. Fine. That is slippy. That I can it's very it. slippy. <laughs> care for us okay. now. I didn't care for us when you were rubbing uh, sticks. Yeah. Oh. Could you fall and have an accident? It will be your fault. You have forces up here for our own safety. We have to come up here for our own safety. I smashed a bar against my ankle, that's why. What, what safety, what, what's happened to the that come down? Well, I don't know, we haven't seen them yet. They're probably getting beaten up now, aren't they? Absolutely bastard, I suspect so. One day you'll be Tom, and sat on your roof, saving you. The guy that comes up from the uh, TSG unit come, Will you sit down before comes you out down? comes out with his helmet on says we're not going to hurt you well, yeah he's all padded up with an helmet and says he's not going to hurt you that's the sort of people you're going to trust, trust in it. The purpose of your being up here now is, is to... For our own safety. If you, um, if you see here, they're on the roof, um, some very cool people. They've tried to, basically they were in the loft, they started breaking through the loft and tried to drag them through the ceiling onto the floor below, which is, what, a 10 foot drop? So they don't care about anyone's safety at all. They've been pushing people around. This is corruption at its finest. And if this doesn't wake people up, what, what does? These are good people on the roof with families, kids. These are normal people. They're yeah, what cool people. Anyway, gonna, um, hopefully we can get your support in the future. Some of us have got guts and we want to try and get justice. We're living in a world where we can't.
disappointing the people, then what, what's the point of living in this world, yeah? So this is what, and uh, remember me telling you, remember me telling you all that this, this is a we're living in a dictatorship. Well, if you ever needed any more evidence, you've got it now. Absolute dictatorship. shocking stuff i'm sure you'd agree isn't that an act of terrorism right there i mean all of these things i'm showing you terrorism but people would never recognize this as terrorism i mean how about governments going on unlawful bankers wars let's listen to bush and what he's got to say about the iraq war It concludes that Iraq has chemical and biological weapons, that Saddam has continued to produce them, that he has existing and active military plans for the use of chemical and biological weapons, which could be activated within 45 minutes, including against his own Shia population. The United States knows that Iraq has weapons of mass destruction. Any country on the face of the earth with an active intelligence program knows that Iraq has weapons of mass destruction. There is no doubt that Saddam Hussein now has weapons of mass destruction. There is no doubt that he is amassing them to use against our friends, against our allies, and against us. The choice is his. And if he does not disarm, the United States of America will lead a coalition and disarm him in the name of peace. Saddam Hussein aids and protects terrorists, including members of Al-Qaeda. Secretly and without fingerprints, he could provide one of his hidden weapons to terrorists or help them develop their own. Before September the 11th, many in the world believed that Saddam Hussein could be contained. The war on terror, is, you can't distinguish between Al-Qaeda and Saddam when you talk about the war on terror. We've learned that Iraq has trained Al-Qaeda members in bomb making and poisons and deadly gases. He's a threat because he is dealing with Al-Qaeda. We know that Iraq and Al-Qaeda have had high level contacts. He has not developed any significant capability with respect to weapons of mass destruction. He is unable to project conventional power against his neighbors. Uh, we are able to keep arms from him. His military forces have not been rebuilt. It appears that there were not weapons of mass destruction there. You said you knew where they were. I did not. We know where they are. They're in the area around uh, Tikrit and Baghdad and, and uh, east, west, south, and north somewhat. You said you knew where they were, near Tikrit, near Baghdad, and north, east, south, and west of there. Those are your words. My words, my words were... We know where they are. They're in the area around uh, Tikrit and Baghdad, and, and uh, east, west, south, and north somewhat. Senator's got his facts wrong. I have not suggested there's a connection between Iraq and 9-11. With respect to 9-11, of course, you've had the um, uh, story that's been public out there, the checks uh, alleged that uh, Mohammed Atta, the lead attacker, met uh, in Prague with a senior Iraqi intelligence official five months before the attack. He said there were three main reasons for going to war in Iraq. 
weapons of mass destruction, the claim that Iraq was sponsoring terrorists would have attacked us on 9-11, and that Iraq had purchased nuclear materials from Niger. Uh, all three of those turned out, turned out to be false. Uh, first, uh, just if I might correct a misperception, I, I don't think we ever said, at least I know I didn't say, that there was a direct connection between September the 11th and, 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 and Saddam Hussein. Saddam Hussein aids and protects terrorists, including members of al-Qaeda. You have said in the past that it was, quote, pretty well confirmed. No, I never said that. Okay. I, I never think said that, that is... No, it's absolutely not. What I said was... Uh, it's been pretty well confirmed that he did go to Prague and he did meet with um, a senior official of the Iraqi intelligence service. Well, let me and, just ask and, uh, you this. If they did not have these weapons of mass destruction, though, granted all of that is true, mm -hmm. why then did they pose an immediate threat to us, to well, this country? The, you and a few other critics are the only people I've heard use the phrase immediate threat. That he has existing and active military plans for the use of chemical and biological weapons, which could be activated within 45 minutes. Active chemical munitions bunkers, mobile production facilities. The United States knows that Iraq has weapons of mass destruction. The reason I keep insisting that uh, there was a relationship between Iraq and Saddam and al-Qaeda because there was a relationship between Iraq and al-Qaeda. What did Iraq have to do with what? The attack on the World Trade Center. Nothing. You know, what has been happening as we debate the number of troops as we debate whether to withdraw is also this continual debate over the intelligence uh, leading up to the war. And I know you've said you believe that it's wrong to question the motives or the honesty of administration officials, but I have a different question for you. If you had known that no weapons of mass destruction would be found, would you have advocated invasion? I didn't advocate invasion. You didn't? No, I wasn't asked. If you read all the books and the things... You weren't, but why weren't you asked? That's very puzzling. Well, I'm sure the president understood what my views were, but, but as a technical matter, did he ever look and say, well, what should we do? Should we go do this or not do that? This is something that the president thought through very carefully. Are you trying to distance yourself from the war with that? Of course not. I agreed completely with the decision to go to war. And I've said that a hundred times. And don't, don't even suggest that. I'm just asking. Yeah, well, you know better. Uh, Look, the interesting thing to me about the pre-war intelligence is clearly it was wrong. Every statement I make today is backed up by sources, solid sources. These are not assertions. But uh, would you have been for an invasion if we had known that? If I, the answer is, uh, if I, the answer is, uh, if I, the answer is, uh, probably yes. When it comes to who else knew the American public was being lied to about Iraq, one Democratic senator now says you can add the entire Intelligence Committee to the list. Dick Durbin of Illinois making the amazing claim on the floor of the Senate that while he and perhaps the 16 other members of that Intelligence Committee knew the administration was misleading the American public, he, perhaps they, kept quiet about it because due to his position on the committee, he had been sworn to secrecy. A few hundred feet away from here, in a closed room, carefully guarded, the Intelligence Committee was meeting on a daily basis for top secret briefings about the information we were receiving, and the information we had in the Intelligence Committee was not the same information being given to the American people. I couldn't believe it. Members of this administration were in active, heated debate over whether aluminum tubes really meant that the Iraqis were developing nuclear weapons, some within the administration saying, of course not. It's not the same kind of aluminum tube. At the same time that members of the administration were telling the American people to be fearful of mushroom-shaped clouds. I was angry about it. Frankly, I couldn't do much about it. Because you see, in the Intelligence Committee, we're sworn to secrecy. We can't walk outside the door and say, the statement made yesterday by the White House is in direct contradiction to classified information that's being given to this Congress. We can't do that. We couldn't make those statements. And so in my frustration, I sat here on the floor of the Senate and listened to this heated debate about invading Iraq thinking the American people are being misled. They are not being told the truth. The information in there drawn from fact, you could find bits and pieces of fact throughout, but framed, articulated, crafted to convince someone of what? Well, of things that weren't true. Things that weren't true. 911 
Al Qaeda related to Saddam Hussein, possibly some involvement there. The very things that a year later, President Bush himself denies and, and feigns his surprise. I don't know why everybody thinks that. Well, <laughs> I worked in a place where they concentrated on on preparing this storyline. In this book of mine here, the prosecution of George W. Bush for murder. Okay. So here he clearly states there is weapons of mass destruction. We know this is right. They're 100% there. The information is correct. Well, if anyone can remember and think back, there was no weapons of mass destruction. Now let's look what happened. What did Bush say? After it came out, there was no weapons of mass destruction. Those weapons of mass destruction got to be somewhere. <laughs> As you can tell from the look on Andy Card's face, we've become a little concerned about the vice president lately. <laughs> Whenever you ask him a question, he replies, let's see what my little friend says. But we get along well. Here I am saying, Dick, if the Hunan Palace doesn't get lunch here in four minutes, we're going out. <laughs> nope, no weapons over there. <laughs> Maybe under here. <laughs> we get jokes. Like this is a laughing matter. How many innocent people were murdered for a banker's war covered in future videos? This war was completely unlawful. This should have never happened. How many innocent people were murdered for something they didn't even do? Now let's look at this, Tony Blair, years on, he finally apologises. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry, this is not a fuck enough. Couldn't you say that they're terrorists using a dictionary definition? But everyone talks about ISIL and ISIS and all this crap. Let's, you know, let's really look at what's going on in this country and in the world. Now... I've done, I've showed you my reality of, you know, war video. I'm just going to show you a snippet. I mean, the video is in about three, four minutes, so I may put it all the way in. But if I don't, if you want to see the video, link will be in the description. Hey, yo. This is the reality of war. War doesn't bring peace, nor is it protecting one country's rights. You just invade another country, stop believing the media The ones who are loudest are just as bad as the ones who do those evil deeds War isn't peace or love But it's evil and destruction Proof if you need it Demons run the world Demons run the world Demons run the world This is the reality of war couldn't this said to have been terrorism? Destroying innocent people's homes? Destroying their country? And then some people in this country, you know, not so much these days, but some people are like, oh, we're bringing over all these immigrants. And, uh, blah, 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 blah. When we've allowed our government to take our army to commit acts of terror. I mean, have the government ever even showed you the proof of any of this? I mean, if we go to 9-11, I think it was a day or two or whatever it was from a big investigation of 9-11. They, they dubbed a bit of a um, Osama Bin Laden's footage. And if anyone's researched that, apparently he was dead seven to eight years before as a lookalike. But I'm not going to get into all of that stuff on this video. But the point is... A day or two or whatever it was after they said he done it, he owned up, they dubbed it. At the end of the day, do, does anyone speak his language? I, sh I, I sure as hell don't know. Now, I've spoken to people who do speak most of his language or they do speak Bin Laden's language. And from what I hear, 
Whether there's any truth in it, I can't vouch because obviously I don't speak his language. But apparently, he's warning his people about the New World Order and what's going on with the governments. Now, they label him a terrorist. Now, I could go into this in, you know, so much more detail, maybe in another video. But people may or may not know that Bin Laden was trained by the Americans, by the government. And the facts are, they say this man is a terrorist. Just because they dub it, and if people don't know what dub is, it's where you record over it. It's like you can hear him talking in whatever language it is, and then I could be over the top of it pretending to translate. Now, I could get a video of a Chinese woman talking about how to make some Chinese food, going through everything about how to make this Chinese food. Now, I could dub it inside because she's got a knife on her hand. She's threatening to basically mass murder who you know a group of people from wherever but people buy that as proof and they say this guy is a terrorist now you may still believe he is but have you researched into it you see people listen too much to the bbc they're listening all the time to the bbc says this and sky news says this and the telegraph said this and the echo said this and blah 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 what about people actually taking their head out of their ass and looking into the facts themselves? Today, I've showed you the realities of war, which is my video. I've showed you the, 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 um, the, the dictionary definition of terrorist. Now, I could go through what is terror. Systematic use of violence such as bombing or something like that. Look it up yourself. Stop believing the fucking BBC and the Sky News. Me bringing this information to you is going to put more heat on me, but I'm still telling you. You know what I'm saying? Because this has to be said. This has to be gone through. I mean, I'm going to cover this in a future video, but all this Issa and Isis bullshit is bullshit. It's made up. They're the boogeyman to take your rights away. You, you look at 9-11, what happened? People beg for security. Please protect me. Now, if anyone's researched it, they would know two planes did not bring that down. It's not even possible. Right? There's a film called uh, One by One. I've not watched it yet, but there's there's a very, very good clip in that. Now, some guy's trying to teach this woman about, well, common sense, I would say. And he, he builds up this Jenga, you know, he puts all the Jenga blocks on. Um, he said to her, right, have a go, sort of thing. So she played, and no matter which way it collapsed, it always went to the left, the right, or in front, behind. And he says, why didn't it close in on itself? Why didn't it fall in on itself? And so she tries and tries, and she can't make it work. So if if you can't do that with Jenga blocks then maybe, just maybe, yeah, you can't do that in real life. There's been, I can't think of any off the top of my head, but planes have hit into fucking skyscrapers before. It doesn't happen like 9-11. And why? Because it was explosives. I don't even have to go through this. Just just look up 9-11, the truth. There, there's a document, well, I'm sure there's more than one now. But there's a documentary on not people that you guys might call conspiracy theories. These are experts in foundation, builder, and structure, all of that. And they tell you, in their honest opinion, in their professional and honest opinion, they would say it's explosives that brought down the Twin Towers. Later on, I might even cover it. Uh, cover it. I think it was on the BBC. 20 minutes, half an hour, whatever it was. Before the second tower come down, they announced that the towers come down. She goes, oh, it's not come down yet. But people are just not looking. They just want to be plagued by all of this. You know what I mean? Especially in America, they're supposed to play, pledge allegiance to any enemies, foreign or domestic. People have got to start looking into their own government, what the government's doing. This, this war on terror is just fucking bullshit. We are being told through the BBC and Sky News and played with fucking 
terrorist this. And people don't even know the definition, as Loki says, unless the TV tells them. But if you look into it, you see what terrorist is. I mean, at the end of the day, if you look into things like Sandy Hook, from our research, it never happened. Look into it. You know, instead of, oh, yeah, I'm going to watch EastEnders and I'm going to watch X Factor. Get off your butt and look at things. Because all I can see around the world, especially in the West, America and England, people want to be slaves. They want to be lied to. And how many millions of innocent people are being killed? It's like the whole Palestine and Israel thing. Israel is the real terror state. And that will be for another video. But the facts are, they are the real terrorists. I mean, people don't realise that all of these Israeli companies are funding the death of Palestinian children. And what do they tell you on the news? About Palestine. They just want to be left the fucking alone. And this is what happens when governments get too big. They get too much power. And this is just the way shit goes. And people blindly follow. Oh, I've heard on Sky News and BBC that ISIS are doing this and Al-Qaeda. You know, if you look in America, I've seen videos of this. People dressed up as an ISIS terrorist, as they would say. Oh, you know, with the flags and all this. They're walking straight past the, the, the you know, what's called the uh, naked x-ray body scanners. I went to America. I saw that. I went, well, not literally people dressed up as ISIS, but I saw that all the Americans were forced into these naked x-ray body scanners. And you want to look into naked x-ray body scanners. The, this is totally invasion of privacy and they say it's for security we need security against the fucking tyrants in government these secret societies the freemasons and i can see people laughing like oh, yeah this guy's an idiot what, what are you going on about mate there is no such thing the terrorists are isil and isis we'll look into it this is what i was having a go about that stupid troll the other day elijah you know check it on my apologies video you know, people are so, so divided by race. I mean, if you look at, you know, the KKK, for example, they were supposed to be Christians, right? But would you judge every Christian by the actions of the KKK? No. Probably most of you say, no, I'm a Christian, I'm a good person, and I do not, what's it? Well, true Islam, or Islam, and fucking um, all these other fucking mainstream religions are against this stuff now i don't agree with religion either if you want to believe in as a creator that's fine all religion is a form of control but my point is a lot of these muslims are coming out saying dude they do not like this they do not agree with this and then this gets into a whole race war because people listen to the news and then they're fearful of asians now, low-key, in that same track I posted, which I may have already posted the whole thing, I don't know, or maybe I'll post it after this. You know, he, he rapped something like, um, it's the Asians and ragheads that are worrying your dad. Your dad's favourite food is curry and kebab. It shows the hypocrisy right there. You know, this is the society we live in. And... There's people, you know, talking about, oh, well, why are we paying for these immigrants to come over and they're still in our jobs and they're, st you know, this is such a massive issue, but this is all causing a race war. We are all humanity. There's one race, the human race. We're all members, white, black, Asian, Chinese, Hispanic, whatever. We're all human before any color, before any race, before anything else. We are all human. And we're allowing these fucking arseholes in power through their mouthpiece, BBC, Sky, The Telegraph, to plague us with fear. It's nothing more than f fucking fear porn. Oh, let's scare the nation into giving their rights up. Because again, look at 9-11. After that happened, look at all the cameras. You can't go anywhere without a camera. And people beg, please give me more protection, please. More cameras, more security. And we are coming, 
We are living in a police state, but it's only getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And people, you know, I have this discussion all the time. We're in the digital age, yeah? We've got the whole World Wide Web of Library of Information. You type it in on Google. I'm not saying I agree with Google, because I know the truth about Google, but the facts are, you can type it in on Google. You can type it on YouTube, which is obviously another Google product. But you can go through all of this stuff here, and people still, still, still just want to listen to the BBC. They, 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 they'd argue these points that they're right and they know what's going on and all the rest of it. They, they don't know anything. You're not informed unless you've researched. All these supposed fucking jihadists and all this fucking bullshit of beheadings. Have you seen the videos? Why did the government fear you? If anyone watches this, you'll be classed as a terrorist. Maybe... There was something in there they didn't want you to see. Hmm. That's certainly throwing a fucking... That's certainly pissed in the fucking face. Think about it. Think about it very carefully before you sign your rights away. Before, you know, you allow them to breach your privacy. We are living in a police state and it's only getting worse. Terror has been used for centuries, terrorists and stuff like this, to keep people in what the elite and people like that would say in line. I mean, many years ago, many, 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 many years ago, you know, went, went like things like eclipses, right? Back then, people don't know what an eclipse was. That information was kept secret. And people that was in the know used that information and knowledge to gain power. You don't make me king. I'm going to block out the sun. Yeah, yeah, mate, whatever. Then an eclipse happens. Well, these people have been told, if you don't do it, I'm going to block the sun. Now, they know when it, how long it's, when it's going to start, roughly. And they know when it's going to stop, roughly. Oh, look, we'll make your king block the sun. Oh, give it another ten minutes. Until everyone says it. This is fear. This is how groups, secret societies, such as Freemasons, or even if you don't believe in all that, governments use it to keep their people in line. Wars and terror, they bring people, well, not people, they bring these groups money. You know what I mean? It's a quote too, Pat. They got money for wars, but they ain't got money to feed the poor. Why is that? I mean, we're in a... I mean, whether you believe all the crap that I tell you, which you shouldn't about, oh, we're in a recovery, we're still in a recession. And all these wars that are going on, I mean, we haven't got money for, you know, sorting out the NHS in England. Or we haven't got money to, you know, help the homeless people. This is what they tell us. We haven't got money for that, but yet they have money to go to war. Under the pretense, you see... They put it on the they put it on the news. They put it on anywhere they can get it so people read it. It's all controlled. I mean the Guardian certainly tells more truth. Um and if, if any of my American or people from other countries supporters or viewers. The Guardian is a British newspaper and they sort of I'm not saying a hundred percent, but they've more or less broken away from what I can see. From, you know, the control. And they print more of the truth. But people are not reading The Guardian. People are not listening to RTV. I'm not saying that they're 100% telling the truth. But they're telling more of the truth what's going on. You know, people want to start looking and question what their government's doing. Question groups like Bilderberg. Question the trilateral, the CFR. You know, question what these secret societies are doing. Question about the paedophiles you know, within government, and every rank, and this has been in the newspaper, I've covered this, I've, I've, I did a fucking about two hour rant about how are you remaining so calm, you know, we are, we are living under a police state, and the only way it's going to get better is if people rise up, now I'm putting this information out, and I don't care if you believe me or not, but I'm risking my life to bring this information to you, and really, I'm the captain of the ship. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go down with this shit one way or another. But you've got a choice. We can stop this. This is why I'm here. I'm trying to tell you guys what's the truth.
so you can look at it. I'm not saying believe me, research and say, well, this guy Woodstory seems to know what he's talking about. Let's look into it. Let's get some dialogue. Before you go, oh, he's crazy, yeah. Why don't we get some dialogue? Because I'm a human being the same as you. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help your family, your children. Because I've researched and I've seen it. If I didn't see proof, would I be here? No. Why the fuck would I waste my time? I mean, am I selling products? No. You know what I mean? I'm not even one of the fucking YouTube Google partners. I ain't getting money off this shit. So why would I invest my time, my energy, compiling this information for you to listen to or watch or whatever? Unless it's true. I mean, if I was some joker or prankster, would I put proof in? I put proof in so you guys can see it. See, when I was researching a lot of this stuff 10, 15 years ago, there wasn't as much information out there, but there's so much about there. Vaccinations, bankers' wars, propaganda. It's all out there. People know what's propaganda. You know, there was even something about jihadists and they were putting out some propaganda video. Oh, but when the BBC and Sky says it and all these mainstream publications are always propaganda, people believe it's propaganda. Well, that's how propaganda works. You ain't supposed to know it's propaganda. So, I'm going through the problem. So, what's the solution? I've already kind of said it. Research it. If anything you listen to on the news does not make sense, research it. There's plenty of things on YouTube. Come to me. Look, you know what I mean? I've watched one of your videos. Which I don't know what to make of it. 9-11 doesn't make sense. Or this doesn't make sense. Come to me. I'm a busy guy, but I will make time. Say, well, I don't understand why they're doing this. You know, I love my country and I love the world. I've got nothing but love for humanity. So, unite with me and unite with others like me. It's not just me doing this. I'm not just one person. So please, listen to the information carefully and watch it again and again and again if you have to. Take it in. And stop trusting your government. I mean, I did, a, I did a track called, a, I did a track about the word government, which is derived from, I think, if I pronounce it right, Gouverneur Mentors, and Gouverneur, uh, Gouverneur, or have you say it, Gouverneur Mentors. It's derived from two Latin words. It means those who control the mind. So government means mind control. They're using the sky. They're using the BBC. They're using mind control. Now, you might go... Oh, wow, they're not putting us under a spell. In a way, they are. If you control what everyone hears, what they see, in a large degree, what they do, that's mind control. When your government tells you this is an act of war, this is an act of terrorism, ask them, where is the fucking proof? And then don't believe their proof. Look at it and think, oh, okay, that's it. Research and find your truth. Find your proof. Find your place in this world and find out what your government's doing. Never trust your government. I'm out of this bitch. Peace.